Hi guys, welcome to the palace. It is Omo here, and I thought I would just do a, do a li do a little talkie talkie one on one with you guys about basically doing what you're scared of. And I'm scared to make this video right now because I'm not using my camera, I'm not using my microphone, and I'm going to be editing it on iMovie. So I know it's not going to be my best. And I always want to do my best, and that's why I'm scared of like doing things. So I thought we'd talk about it, let's talk about it one on one. Now, one thing I was scared of was creating a website and asking people to help out. Asking people to help, that's not me, but I did it. Look where we all are now. We have a little channel here. We have a few weekly contributors and we have content every single week and month for the website. And I was scared to... Basically, I was scared to learn a bit of coding. <laughs> it was something I'd never, never dabbled in before. I knew HTML, but I did not know stuff like hosting and that lot. But Jadalyn, the new owner of Neko Palace, I say new, it's been like half a year now. Thank you, Jadalyn, for saving my ass. Because you're great. But basically, I was scared to sort the forum out. I had no idea what to do, how to do it, what a hosting place was, how to host, what I do. But... Jalen basically gave me the push to do it. We were both close to quitting, actually. We were both like, mm, let's not. But then we both were like, fuck it, let's try it. If it doesn't work, we can get our money refunded, blah, blah, blah. Because we'd already spent, like, $144 on this, so, eh, yep, go for it. And we went for it, and it was stressful, but we did it. And Lego Palace has a forum now, if you did not know. I don't know when I'm posting this. <laughs> But basically, I think what I'm just trying to say is do what you're afraid of. If it doesn't work, abandon ship or do whatever. I think me and Jadelyn both like helped each other and I think having someone there really helps you. I was scared to make t-shirts because I didn't think people would buy them. I was scared to set up a website. I was scared to ask for people for money when I started my Patreon. And now I've got a Samsung Galaxy S7 thanks to my Patreon, so it's wild. I even did live streaming. Live streaming. This social anxiety potato did live streaming and it went really well. People actually turned up and I got comments afterwards, like messages being like, I loved your live stream and like, go for it man. Don't let your fears stop you. Don't let them hold you back. There's always going to be a plan B available or some sort of jumping off ship, like a bought mission that you can do. You don't have to stick to it, you know what I mean? It's like if you're jumping between the leap of being unemployed, do it. If it don't work, you can easily get another job again. Just make sure you have about three months rent and expenses in your bank account before you do that. If you got that, do it. If three months you can't pay the bills, apply for a job, try and get another job. So yeah, don't let your fears hold you back. It held me and Jalen back for quite a while. I wouldn't say it's fears, but we just didn't know what we were doing, so we didn't. Rather than just learn. If you just learn, you, you can... It's the best way to learn is to just jump in there. Jump right in there and force yourself to learn. So yeah, that's just basically my story. I'm scared to post this video because it is going to be low quality for me. But that does not mean it's low quality for everyone. And I think that's what I need to remember. Because posting regular is sometimes better than top quality content all the time. So yeah, um, that's me. Don't let your shit hold you back. Um, well, I'll run out. Sorry for like the poopy video, but I hope you get the message. And I was hand holding this, and like. Mm.